Today in the Easter Twan Kitchen, we are reimagining an old school classic, but my version, we have a Lamberger Helper today. This is going to be amazing. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. And guess what? I'm using J Rice Spice Rasta and Jerk Seasoning for this recipe. It's about to be amazing. Now for this recipe, something a little different. I'm using a ribbon pasta called lasagnette. Yes, I did have to Google that a few times to pronounce it correctly for you all. And I'm using J Rice Spice Rasta and Jerk Seasoning. I'll have all of that in the description for you to follow along with the measurements on screen and in the description box. Now, I'm starting off with some pre-cut bell peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. Listen, it takes a hassle and cuts the recipe time right in half for you all, all right? Now, in a saute pan or skillet, on medium high heat, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of olive oil and we're gonna go ahead and ground that lamb. Did I say ground that lamb? <laughs> we're gonna brown this ground lamb and we're gonna make sure it gets a nice color to it. Now I'm using my little handy tool I got off of Amazon to break that meat down just like that. We don't want big chunks of meat, we want a nice, size bite. We do want to go ahead and drain this excess liquid, so we're not gonna season the ground lamb just yet. Let's go ahead and drain the excess liquid and then come back and add some salt and pepper to that, about a teaspoon of each, just for taste. That's all you're gonna need. Once you set the ground lamb aside in that same saute pan, add one or two cups of bell peppers and onions. And again, I'm using the pre-cut bag from Trader Joe's to just take the hassle out of cooking. Now, I'm gonna saute these bell peppers and onions just like that. Now to the bell peppers and onions, I'm adding one fourth cup of minced garlic. That's gonna take the flavor to another level. Listen and adjust to your taste. Take away or add as much as you like as your recipe. All right, so once we go ahead and saute the bell peppers and the garlic and the onions, we're gonna go ahead and add the star. Four tablespoons of the rasta jerk seasoning. This is gonna give the flavor that we're looking for. So go ahead and stir. So you can actually use as much as you want because the seasoning does not have a lot of salt to it at all. All right, now to that mix, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream. This is going to make our sauce base. This is going to be amazing and things are going to start moving quick. Now we're going to reduce the heat to medium low because we do not want to scorch or burn this sauce. All right, so go ahead and start to combine just like that. And again, it should be on medium low and you can see it bubbling again, nice and thick. Now to our sauce mixture, go ahead and add one or two cups of grated Italian blend cheese. This is gonna have a mixture of cheese and it's gonna give it a nice flavor. Stir to combine, and again, just like I said earlier, the heat should be on a medium low. We don't want to burn or scorch the sauce, especially once we add the grated cheese inside of there. Now, add your ground lamb. I recommend using a slotted spoon. As you see here, I just use a regular spoon and I'm putting some of that fat in the sauce. It's okay, but I highly recommend use a slotted spoon. Don't use a regular spoon like I'm using here. Start to combine once you add that ground lamb to your sauce mixture and everything should combine nice and good, just like that. Now look at that, the sauce is not too thick. We have our cheese in there, our bell peppers. We have that rasta jerk seasoning in there. And listen, if you want to, you can go ahead and add one more tablespoon of the seasoning just to take it up just another notch. And again, the seasoning does not have a lot of sodium or salt content. So again, you can actually be a little heavy handed if you want. But again, add to your liking and to your taste. Now, speaking of taste, let's give it a taste test and make sure we like it. If we like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
Now, this is the time where you're going to go ahead and boil your pasta in salted water, whatever pasta you want, but you guys know what pasta I'm using, the Lagzognet pasta that I got from the Italian store. Now, I will list that in the description for you to follow and maybe even purchase online. Now, cooking this pasta was about seven minutes. Just follow the box instructions for whatever pasta you decide to use for this lamb burger helper. Now look, I love this ribbon pasta. It looks amazing and it's something different to try in the kitchen, all right? The goal is to always have fun and try different things in the kitchen. All right, so after my seven minutes, I'm gonna go ahead, drain that pasta, and we're gonna mix everything together. Then it's gonna be time to eat. This is a family fun and friendly meal and this rasta and jerk seasoning from j rice spice is amazing all right so go ahead and take that pasta out you want to make sure your pasta is the consistency that you want do not overcook it and listen now let's go ahead and mix everything together Now, once you add the noodles to that sauce, now you see the sauce took on a nice, rich color. That means it's nice and seasoned. That rasta and jerk seasoning definitely took this dish to a whole nother level. And then we have our ribbon pasta in there. Stir to combine, everything looks so good. Listen, this is a family fun meal, something very easy you can whip up once you get off from work. And again, it's not gonna take no more than 30 minutes. This is amazing, I cannot wait to taste, all right? Now, before we taste test this recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and add that good old parsley on top. You know, we have to add parsley to everything. Now, life is short, so lick the bowl, and yes, we will be licking the bowl with this recipe. Go ahead and plate it on up, add as much as you like. Again, this is your recipe, have fun with it, and let me know how it turns out, okay? But in the meantime, let's go ahead and finish this off, and let's go ahead and give this a nice taste test. When the food is this good, we do a little dance. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more recipes. Listen, let's go ahead and taste this amazing dish we put together with the J Rice Spice Seasoning Blend, this rice and jerk. Woo, this thing was amazing. Got me shaking my head. Listen, I'm gonna finish this up. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this recipe and I'll see you next time.